Okay, here's the inaugural episode 24, season 1, episode 1. We're at 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. This show premieres November 6, 2001 on Fox on a Sunday night. So here's here's what, how you get a successful show. One, timing. After 9-11 attacks, terrorism, all the kind of the, the counter-terrorist kind of guy, like a, the American hero. Perfect timing for what the what the American nation kind of like is looking for at the time. They're looking for that kind of American hero type, plus the the whole bad guys who are terrorizing our uh, our great land of the United States. And then you also have marketing, which is Sunday nights. The football is crazy. Even back in two thousand one, they're promoting twenty four. Like every 15 minutes during uh, in, in November about the inaugural episode, and then of course you got a great concept which is executed properly in the whole 24. Everything is going by minute by minute, and you what you have in all those kind of things you and you put in the can of soup so to speak. T- uh, perfect timing, uh, what the American public needed at the same time. You got to remember too, they they were shooting this these episodes long before the 9/11 attack, so it was perfect timing for them. Then you got great marketing, and then you also have a certain uh, great concept, and basically also a fan base that was coming out of the woodwork in terms of the fanboys, and this is what they exactly want. So, and it's a great show. That's why I'm going to review every single episode. So, so modern meets western. That's kind of the notes I made when I first watched this episode because you have the style of. Um, the split screen, you kind of have the gadgets, you're kind of seeing what's going on in the, in the government forces in 2001, but you also have like a, a Western kind of feel to it. Jack Bauer is very much like the vid- vigilante kind of uh, kind of guy. He's the outlaw. He's the guy who comes into the town and like takes care of business like Al Eastwood. And if you well, pay attention to the first episode too, there's kind of like that Western kind of guitar playing going on in the background. That's kind of the soundtrack they use. So they're mixing uh, the modern technology with kind of that Western outlaw that we all love. That's why Westerns were so popular. So what we learned in the, in the in the episode, we'll get into the into lots of stuff like in the coming episodes. Is that Bauer's a good guy. It's all about family for him, and he's a guy who could be trusted. And the others that we don't know, and we'll get into the red herring thing. But it's the art of the red herring of twenty four because. They give you a lot of information, and you know that there's certain people that we're not supposed to trust that are gonna are gonna are gonna turn their backs on Bauer or whatever. And then you also know that there's certain people that we do trust. So then at the beginning you think Tony Almeida is a bad guy, and then maybe he's well, of course he ends up being a good guy, but then again he becomes a bad guy later on. But anyways, and then you also have the airplane scene where you think the photographer is a bad guy because he's kind of like uh he looks like a terrorist. Well. You know, like that that stereotype that we all use, but it's actually the white woman. And remember this: the white woman, in the white sexy woman in the history of Twenty Four, is usually the one who's in a lot of trouble. So this is what's going on in the inaugural episode. And of course, the daughter Kim is kidnapped for the first time. I think she's kidnapped about twenty other times in the in the in the, in the accolades of uh, of Twenty Four. But we'll get into it. That's the first episode. It works. Perfect timing. The whole clock thing is kind of magical. And we'll get on to the next one. Thanks.